Hello today and uh, I'm so happy that you are here. I really wanted to do more practices and I think that doing the practices makes a very big difference. Not just thinking of them um, and trying um, to find the logic and trying to understand things but really do and have an experience and especially creating that kind of safe space inside of yourself that it is, that you know that you are familiar with that you know that you can come back to so this is what we are going to do and it is gonna be um, easy and challenging at the same time but I don't want to talk more about it just do the practice uh, when you do this first, it's much better than you have privacy, but as you will learn and as we do the practice, you will see that I am encouraging you to try it wherever you are, because building that safe connection with yourself it is not creating a bubble for yourself when you are alone, but it is creating a, and building that kind of basics that you can use wherever you are and you can come back to that you know that you have that space inside of yourself so close your eyes take a deep breath just in your rhythm this is your time this is your praise this is your breath it's all about you and your connection. Your breath is con at least a connection with the outer world and you can just inhale and exhale and try to just feel yourself, be with yourself and you will find that your attention is going to wander here and there and you are losing the kind of depth that you have already achieved before and it's totally fine don't be afraid to lose the connection just be sure that you can come back so whenever you experience that you are wondering and you just realize that oh I'm not in the practice you just come back if you feel overwhelmed just open your eyes look around and check in if you can come back uh, so you can come back anytime if that's 100 of times it's all fine you are building you are doing new connections you start something it's totally fine to losing and coming back so breathe and know choose something, one point inside of your body, one space it can be actually even outside of your body, it can be like your skin like, and you can touch for example your thighs and where you can feel your thigh and your hand together, that can be the point or the space, or it can be your heart or your heart center it can be your pelvis it can be your butthole, really. I'm going to do my butthole. <laughs> just, and now just start to feel it. It doesn't actually matter what do you choose. It is easier if you choose something that is not that challenging now. But with time, you can choose points that you feel like you have the last connection with. So just feel that part of yourself as you breathe in. I just let you... Like, Keep silent for a little bit. Mm. Mm. So just feel it. Whatever is coming up is fine. If you are losing the connection, it's fine. You just come back and feel again. 
and just saying to yourself, I'm here, I'm here now, I'm here for you, I'm here for me. Now just try to imagine that that part of yourself, that point, that space is expanding. Just expand as much as feels comfortable for you. And just notice how is that for you now. If you don't want to create a relaxed state or whatever. We just want to a core of presence. Be with a part of yourself. Truly. With openness, curiosity and authenticity. So acknowledge what's going on now that you expand it in your mind. That space, that part. And we'll just go back to the first contact, like the normal, the kind of cold, call that normal, the classic state that you first experienced. Maybe it feels different now that you already expanded. Mm. Feel that part of yourself. And now, choose another point, mm, like, like you can choose something that is close to it or I, can, I will choose my spine now, but you can choose your tongue or whatever you want, feel that, that part of yourself now for a little bit, just like you felt before. If you are wandering away, just come back. Notice the differences in quality, energies, sensations. And now go back to the first point or space that was my bad hole. So I go back, feeling it. Hmm. and try to feel this other part of yourself as well as the first point. Feel them together. How is this changing? Is your presence became weaker or stronger as you expanded and added other parts? Just try to feel your whole body. Just you at the moment. Maybe it's too much to to feel all together. Maybe it's not as much as you can. This is not a task to do. This is an experiment, a play. Just feel yourself, feel your body and then feel that first part inside of your body. Feel them together. And now 
now just open your eyes, look around and just check in. Can you feel that first part still? Just try to connect again as much as you can now. However, feel okay. You can move and stretch and try to still be present at that part of yourself. Don't want to change that part of yourself, don't want to change the sensation. Just stay with it and come back to it. Come back again and again, anytime. So I challenge you to come back to that part and bring your presence back whenever you are wandering away. Just choose the point, the point, the part. It doesn't matter actually what do you choose. And this is a practice that you can do like while on the bus, while you are waiting for something or somebody, while you are watching television. The more disturbance is around you, actually the better to practice. But if you are just a beginner and you are losing your presence and your connection easily, then I would recommend to start really st slow and have smaller steps. So first, first just try, like why don't you are on the toilet or under the shower, then you have something nice, then you have some privacy, and then add the extra elements to the practice. So that was it for today and see you next week when I also have another practice for you.